What's up, everybody? Welcome back to JR Sneaker Show. I am JR, and today I got something very cool for you. But before we get too far ahead, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel, hitting that thumbs up, and helping my channel grow. We just recently hit that 500 mile marker um, subscribers. So thank you, everybody. And I'm um, just going to keep going from there. So, you know, thank you, everybody. So let's keep going. But first of all, let's hit you with that shoe, ya. Right here, we got the Air Jordan 1 high og bleach coral this is not an og colorway but this has that barons vibes this reminds me of the og1 um barons right here and you can see it's got that gray back black toe and then it's got uh the black tongue with the coral vibes comes with a couple sets of laces here and it's got the gray bottom and then it's got the pink inside i'm gonna definitely get more into this sneaker i'm gonna put it on the table and then we're gonna do an, an in-depth review. That way you know what to look for when you're buying these. Um, just because there's a lot of fakes out there and I don't want anybody you know, to think they're buying an, a legit pair and get a fake. You know, So we're gonna go over some things um, on what to look for when buying this pair. I, I personally got this pair from Nice Kicks, so I know these are legit Nice Kicks right there. So um, yeah, so I, don't, I know these are legit, so that way I can show you what to look out for when you're buying these and you know and show you some really cool things that you won't see um, unless you're doing an up close so all right well let's get right into it all right so first of all let's get right into the box so you can see right here the box it says Air Jordan 1 retro high OG 555-0888-108 uh, these are a size 10 and a half and you can see it's got this uh, QR code right there so this is what the box looks like. You can see, and it says that RFID. You should be able to always scan this and it'll take you straight to Nike's website. That's a great way to tell if you have fakes or not. Um, what they say is you should be able to peel the sticker back and there should be some, um, some kind of like metal lining or something back there. Um, what's funny too is I don't know if you're catching that on my camera but it, you can kind of see through it right there. It's got those lines right there. You see that, like those little white lines right there behind it. So that might be it right there. So yeah, just real right into the box. Um, Nike Air is Nike. It's got the registered trademark and it's pretty centered on the box. You can see it's not off centered or anything. It says 1985 Air Jordan 1 right there. And then the other side, Nike as well. And then on the top, it's got the Nike with the R right there and then the R over there. Um, it, it does come with that that code right there, that sticker. Um, I'm not sure what that sticker is. It's Y with the, like a backwards D, kind of looking like an Apple M or something like that. I guess I need to do some research and figure out what that is. Um, so that's the inside of the box. And then on this other side of the box, it says... 13 AJN 18 trade 330 times 235 times 120. Um, it comes with this sort of standard white paper right there, and you can see um, up close. Um, it's kind of kind of see through ish, and this is what the paper looks like. And that's about it. And then the box is just cardboard on the inside. And then let me show you the box lid right here. The lid right there says 13 AJN 18 underscore lid 3030 235 120. It's got the swoosh right there. And then this one has the uh it's always got like a stamp on the inside. And this one just has a stamp right there, 2022. And you can see they didn't really stamp it very well. It's got the swoosh right there too. So that's the box lid right there. Uh, let's get right into the sneaker too. So right now with the left sneaker right there, you can see the bottom. And it's got the stars right there. So check this out. Um, very cool how they did this, this, um, this suede back right here. It's got like a real thick cut of suede uh, you got your Air Jordan, and then right here on the sides, and the tops and stuff, you got, it's like cracking. 
which is crazy that they would do that but that's how they're doing these now and apparently that's how they're going to be doing it with the new remastered uh, chicago one that we're getting you can see my stitching is a little crooked right there so even from the even straight from the manufacturer i mean you're going to see stuff like this so but if you do look at it the stitching is really really on point like that's some good factory stitching right there that's not no you know stitching to where you see how it's like perfectly uh across from each other right there you know so that's a good way to tell if your jordans are legit the stitching is just clean on these i mean except for the fact that they kind of went down right here like down and then back up so and then you see the air jordan logo right there it's embossed in there so it's not just like painted on it's like actually stamped in there so you can feel all the texture and all the lines and then usually you'll see right here is about where they stop the stitching uh, this one does come with two sets of laces and the way it came is these were rolled up like that so and then you can see you got the cracking right here on the toe as well which is pretty cool how they did that you got your stitching look at that stitch i mean the stitching is clean i mean that's a real telltale way to see if you got a, a fake pair of jordans is by the stitching then you can see on the toe um everything comes this way another thing too they say to always look out for on your jordan ones is this stitching right here should go past the swoosh and never just line up with the swoosh the leather on here the white leather it's pretty nice it's pretty thick cut toe box pretty nice pretty thick cut reminds me of the 2016 um jordan one black toes that we got and then on the inside right here uh look at the tongue right here you got the nike air on the tongue in that coral colorway and then on the inside you got your nike air right in there size 10 and a half and then right there you got 10 and a half as well and then you got your real clean looking uh, tag in there. And these come with the Nike Air on the bottom. And let's see what kind of insole they gave us. So this insole, again, this is one of those, um, I forgot what they were calling this. Um, oh, it says right there, Dream Cell. Dream Cell insole. And it says QF-8MS10 nav number. So men's, I'm thinking. And then it's got like this little square right here, which is kind of crazy. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, and then it just says Nike Air on the bottom. And then on the inside, it's got the real, it's got the stitching taped off nicely. This one has two holes. And then you got your stitching on the inside. And then as far as the stock, sock liner, really nice sock liner, really padded on this one see right there and then on the back of the swoosh on the back of this tag right here it says made in china nike and the swoosh name and trait and stripe our trademarks and guarantee of quality swoosh made in china and right there so you should always see uh this should always pretty much line up right there just like that um, and then it should flip over right there like right right about there so that's what you're looking for and the tongue lines up pretty good so yeah and then nike down here on the bottom and then you got your little your little guys going sideways right there so yeah so this is what to look for on a legit pair of these og high one corals um these are reselling right now for about 200 um, just a little over resale right now, so I'm not going too crazy, but this is one of those sneakers that it's just I'm surprised that you know They did sit but I think a lot of people were getting tired of the og1 colors But the thing is is this has the the military black vibes. I mean um, Black four vibes because if you look at it, I mean it's got the same colorway except for you know on the tongue right there, but this could have been a military four uh, ish Jordan one that came out so uh, the other thing to look out for is when you get your pairs you're gonna it's gonna come with this tag right here and this tag right here says um, 
Please note natural crack seen on the upper is normal due to random crackle ink application. And then I'm, I'm assuming it says the other thing on the same thing on the back. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, and then you got your standard shoe trees that come. This is QF-8L, 10, 10 and a half. Um, this one's pretty solid, pretty thick. Nothing uh, that we don't see, but it's not super flimsy. So when you do get these, be on the lookout. Um, but yeah, this is how to legit check a pair of uh, Jordan 1 Corals. Like I said, pick these up from Nice Kicks. And so this is what you want to look out for. Your pair should look pretty close to this one. All right, well, everybody, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for helping me grow. Thank you for looking at these. These are so cool. These are so fresh. So fresh. All right, everybody, God bless you, and I'm out.